time. How you feel about that? Time is part of the space um, time continuum. You can't have space without time. You can't have time without space. Okay. All time is is a measurement of movement. It's nothing else. It's nothing else. It's just a measurement of movement. Whether it's measuring you going around the sun or whether it's measuring this roll, uh, us going around the so-called axis. Right. Right. Or however you want to see the earth. Mm, so it just bumped him out. I'm going to take another person. But however you want to see the earth, time is just a construct to assist us in understanding how to assimilate the world around us. So I'm going here. I'm going to invite uh, my band Benji. Right? I'm going to let Benji in here. That's my vice lord brother out of the shy. Me and him be having some good conversations on his channel, so I might as well bring him in. Um, What's up, God body? Hey, um, I got to tell you something, man. Real shit. Look, I don't say names, but just know, man, she, she slid through my lab yesterday. I was trying to get you to see something when I sent you my uh, lab. Because she sent I don't know who she sent, but I swear to God, on the fan, she had somebody hack my phone. Like, she was in my lab for 30 minutes, but she had somebody hack my phone after she left. Like, and people who was in my lab could tell you, like, I couldn't do shit. Mm -hmm. they, look, she ain't, look, it looked like she a regular person. She, she worked for the government. They all on the same team. Yeah, they trying to get us to go against each other, and I don't know why, like, I, I told got real you. respect for you. Remember what I told you when I when I said that you had the right to feel how you want to feel and me and you had a right to talk about it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Without them other motherfuckers trying to put that division in the mix. Yeah. You know? So it is what it is, man. We we not accepting any more the same shit that tripped up Malcolm, Martin, Noble Drew Ali, Mega Evers, Emmett Till, um, fi uh, Father God Allah, um, Yahweh being Yahweh, we not accepting the same division tactics they used on our elders because we learned from that shit. If we ain't learned from that shit, we gonna keep repeating it. I seen it coming because I know the I know the mo. Once you know the mo, it's a wrap. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. You powerful. <laughs> they can't mess with you. I keep telling them you're an OG. They can't fuck with you. Look, Larry told me we was gang brain banging. We wasn't gang banging. Right. I'm I'm the brain banging this motherfucker out right now. If, he, if he'd have told me we was gang banging, I'll be the gang banging this motherfucker <laughs> out right now. But he said we brain banging. It's somebody on our land that's putting us against each other. And we need to find him. So I'm dragging their ass out. Man, it ain't personal with me. Yeah, it's just wrong. business. In this case, it's family business. And I like to let the family in on it. Let them motherfuckers send all of their motherfucking infiltrators. They gonna fuck around and get converted by the truth. When I produce Larry, this shit is not is not what they think it is. It's not right. It's not what they think it is. They keep getting us confused and think that that same old bullshit gonna sabotage us and make us clash and go against each other. I don't know why, right. man. That shit crazy because I be trying to tell people, man. Look, I don't care what what game you in. You are OG and I respect you. Yep. So. It, it goes down to treating motherfucker how you want to be treated to me. Mama yeah, look, said, if you I don't just, want people to treat you like shit, you can't go around treating people like shit. And then you don't wonder why people treat you that way. That's facts. But I just came up here real quick, OG, to tell you, like, yeah, she she on some shit with me, too. Yeah, she don't know how to, she don't know what to do with you right now. So just lay low, man. Don't, don't, don't even feed into that shit. When she send them motherfuckers to come in there and heckle you and shit, act like they ain't even there. They be coming in my shit, and I be looking at them laughing, you know. And the people in the comments, because we now we know how they operate. Right. I just showed it in real time how they operate. It's not a secret no more. And because it's not a secret no more, that put them in an adverse position because now their upper hand has been snatched from them. Right. That's true. So, I mean, you, they can take it how they want to take it, you know. Yeah. But look, they, look, look, um, I'm gonna I'm hop down in the comment. I'm gonna let you be great. I just have to tell you straight up, like I fucks with you, I rocks with you, God. I see, I see what they on with us, and I, I do see them CIA, uh, CIA tactics that they doing. Yeah, that shit ain't gonna work on us. I'm immune to that shit. I keep telling them, as soon as you think you got me deceived, is when you deceived yourself. 
I'm gonna take the next person, Benji. Me and you gonna chop it back up again. All right. All is one. All is mighty. Yes, for sure. So we go in. Oh, I got it. I gotta let the righteous decoy in here. <laughs> gotta let the righteous decoy in here. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Now I feel better. <laughs> oh, bro, we've been sitting on this information for a minute. I didn't know she was going to be exposing herself like this. I told you. Big Mama said, let her own people drag her out first, right? Then what I told you? And when they start blowing my inbox up, complaining, then I told you I had to do what I got to do, didn't I? That was my. I didn't like it at all. And B I Big Mama. Record, I didn't like it. Big Mama confirmed it when she started raining fish in Texas. So, I mean, if you don't understand what's going on now, then you really slow. Because I'm telling this shit so accurate. I'm reading this shit so accurate, goddammit. You can't even mess the letters and the vowels and the consonants up in the words I speak. <laughs> And and I and I had already told you they was coming for you because they thought you was the weak link. <laughs> Y'all told me to stand back, and I did. I fell back hard. Did they? I don't know. If people was understanding, but look, they 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 told me stay out the way. So did you? Because I was ready going a long ass time ago. I've been seeing the rocks. Mm. I've been seeing the dirt. I've been smelling this shit. I've been watching. Yep. I had my own receipt. Now look. Did it play out exactly like I tell you told you it was gonna play out? Unfortunately, yeah, you're right. And I have been in one of those people that like I'm tired of hearing about they look like us. <laughs> I I was like, who are we talking about? <laughs> but when I started to see that shit for myself, guys, I believed it and I had to shut the fuck up. Look, I that's the worst thing I wanted to tell our people. Is if somebody that looked like us but they ain't us doing this shit. And they blame it on somebody that don't look like us in order. So when we figure out that it's a problem, we supposed to go crazy and attack the wrong motherfuckers. That's why they tried to get Manson and SimQ to start a race war to be the cover story. So they could be standing next to us in the aftermath talking about, we got them crackers. We got them crackers now. And they the ones that's the goddamn cracker. Because the white man ain't even white. That hurt my feelings when I feel like people don't understand how bad that hurt my feelings. When I found that shit out, it hurt my feelings when the, the, sh the cops with the gun on me was my own kin. So it, it comes in different ways that what you're saying manifests, and you be kind of like, whoa, he's not just talking shit. He's just not blowing like smoke and saying all this stuff. I mean, it was so many lies about you. That Larry Jr. didn't even know you. That's a damn lie, too, because it's like seeing receipts. Look. So it, it was I, hard I, that to, was like, the ace in the hole right there, because that's the, that's the thing that they banking on, that little Larry don't know who I am. I'm over here dying laughing. How the fuck little Larry don't know who I am? I'm the motherfucker. I'm the second biggest advocate behind little Larry for Free Larry Hoover and Kanye West. I'm the third motherfucker. On the free land. You was. Even when niggas wavered after the concert and all types of stuff, you've been consistent. Totally consistent. And so if he don't know who I am, then he don't want his daddy free. And I can't believe that shit to save my life. Because he's been fighting this fight his entire life. The man, Lil Larry is about 40, if not 50. Me and him might be the same fucking age. And he's been fighting this shit since he was a toddler. Right, so his mama got to tell him, no matter what you do with your life, don't never stop fighting for your daddy to get free. She had to tell him that growing up when he was two. Loyalty, niggas don't know about that no more. So when they come slide in, see, it's called a soft sale, and it worked like this: show me where you make your money at. I get so amazed at how much money you making, I won't end. Bitch, fuck your money. <laughs> I don't want none of your money. I'm telling motherfuckers don't know. I will go get me a cardboard box, pull that bitch up with my cell phone, and plug that motherfucker up behind the local motherfucking gas station. 
Fuck they money. I'm that motherfucking serious. I don't need no money. That shit not going to free my people. It's only going to keep us enslaved. Fuck your money. Oh, fuck that shit. We went through too much shit. Our people been through too much shit. Somebody got to stand up with a, with a backbone. That ain't going to fall under the motherfucking dollars waved in their face. The big booty swaying in their ass. What niggas always fall for? The two things they always fall for. A big booty bitch and a whole bunch of money. If you can't get them with one, you can always get them with the other. I'm immune to all that shit. I will fucking, if my people since continue to suffer while I'm behind the grocery store with my cell phone telling y'all this shit, I'll jack the fuck off first. I'm that serious. I'm that serious. Before I let a motherfucking female mislead me off the path of redemption for the people, I do it out. I can be a hermit. I done proved it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't gotta like try it. it. I done heard it. We try. No, I. I don't want you to like it no more. Shit. Look. We trying to rise. Everybody ready. Look, the oracle said, "Watch the seventh and the eighth. If we don't see three kings walking, Big Mama about to fuck this bitch up." And Oye is her daughter off the left hand. That's not the one to fuck with. You know, so I mean how long have I been telling you I feel it? I've been feeling it. Mm -hmm. Trying to contain it. Look, I've been sending motherfuckers the I mean, I've been posting the weather anomalies. Cause people not you like my handy mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. I'm giving them a warm up because they, they talking shit. You want destruction, you're gonna get it. All I know is don't don't it, don't don't provide the kings. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a show. The Oracle said they didn't respect the time frame. She's talking about the hey, because we supposed to see them by now. But we couldn't or see them. Or at least had a response. At least something. Yep. So the reason for one of these damn agents. So the the thing is. This is the reason we couldn't see them where they didn't produce them yet. There's two reasons. One, I had to drag out the imposter. That bitch out. It ain't no secret no more. All motherfucking eyes on the imposter now while she over there running scared. He, it, whatever the fuck that motherfucker is. I don't know. That motherfucker seahorse. So the imposter's gone. What's next? Three kings. We're still waiting for them to eat the Act like they don't, they haven't been. I guess we can go back because the Antarctica meeting. They didn't have none of us at the damn meeting. No indigenous. They had the CEOs, all of the XRP motherfuckers. They knew that. So I watched all that play out. And when I knew they were talking about transfer criminals and all that, I'm like, wait a minute. I don't see nothing about Larry. So I had to put the ass back on notice as we were watching it play out. So we kept doing updates with the bankruptcy of D.C., the United States, and caught that, too, because they were going to try to keep moving this along in this era, which they still are, right? Mm -hmm. The deal is there was a lot of milestones from the concert to when they were supposed to respond. We hit up Kamala. We hit up Trump. We, I ain't even hit up fake Biden. Uh, I hit up even Trump's son. One of the advisors, like, I, we went direct to guys. Like, it wasn't just we posted on social media, fucking sent messages directly to their asses because I wasn't playing. Yeah. So, time's up. Well, and Christina said, no negotiation. Fuck negotiating. We already did pass that. That's what all them treaties they violated was well, negotiation. So, we didn't already pass that stage. They violated every single treaty they can't be negotiated with. Yeah, but they kept trying to keep going with the build back better uh, spending. That shit didn't pass. I was adding, as they would keep going in the news with their bullshit, spiritually, I was sending that shit right back. Nope, you're not passing. You're not going to continue this fucking government and pretend. Y'all not going to continue to spend pandemic bonds to kill people. We woke now. Y'all out of business. You shot yourself in the fucking foot. 
we just waiting for our people to wake up, rise up. Mm -hmm. I know this. Um, you want your back? It's ready. Now look, I'm 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 not vindictive, right? But I will fuck a motherfucker up about my family. I don't have no problem with that. And I tell you how far I need to go in order to take care of the family. Now it's the whole goddamn family in distress. Ain't no one motherfucker gonna come in and keep me from, I guess, too many of us. I can't, if the weight on my shoulders, I can't buckle. Right? Like, she had the luxury of being comfortable or maybe not seeing it. But when I walk out my door and I drive around my city and I look at people that look like me and we all suffering, and I'm like one fucking flee away from being on the street like them. Mm -hmm. Fuck that side and, and we're bringing everybody up. Not the one that's sitting high on the hog. You know, especially when they mis misleading and cheating the people and trying to get me to sell out. Now, that's the part that pissed me off. How the fuck you gonna try to get me to sell out? You all must know I'm the most tested motherfucker in the history of the world. Every motherfucking clan sent somebody to see if I'm a bump straight and I always bump straight. Right? When they bump me left, I bump back left. When they bump me right, I bump back right. When they bump me straight, I so bump back straight. So is there anything we can do to put, keep going with the Larry Hoover? Anything else that we haven't thought of that we can pursue? I'm not even trying to think of nothing. I want mama to tear this bitch up so they'll see I ain't bullshitting. they get their attention. And wait. Now, she don't have to tear this motherfucker up if we see the three kings. It's not necessary. The weather will adjust to the climatic conditions of the season as soon as we see them. But until the end, her and her daughter's just going to rain the most beautiful destruction you motherfuckers ever seen while y'all screaming for mercy and she ain't going to have none because y'all already exhausted all of the merciful means. It's not, it's not personal. See, people be thinking that it's vindictive, it's evil. How in the fuck is it evil when these motherfuckers got us killing each other they training our kids how to be pedophiles draining their blood like me telling the motherfuckers a fraud is weak well i mean that's why i was just trying to tell you it's confusing it was confusing in the beginning because we were trying to keep our eye on who is the enemy and then when you have somebody like right standing next to you they're the enemy as well you didn't know so it, it was just it got really mucky in the end for me while well, I just had to step back. Like, this is crazy because my energy's been on the motherfuckers that got our shit. They've been playing pedophiles, all of them, watching all the cleanup, making sure that the white hats transition it to the green hats. And who's the green hats? Indigenous people of the land. So we can get to a certain point. Yeah, we get in the say, Yeah, Trump comes back. Yeah, the Republic. That's not our shit, though, guys. Yeah, I don't fuck with no republics, no democracies, all that shit, Roman. So y'all need to pass that word out. We about halfway there. All that shit, Roman. Look, all you got to do is go back. Plato wrote the Republic. Plato wrote the Republic. He was a Greek. The Romans took the Republic and created some shit called a democracy. Right? And they used the artificial democracy to run a hand-picked selection process in your face. They got the people believing they vote. The party system that is working. We've proven it. <laughs> Somebody in the comments was saying that. Look. And it's like, it's like when one year the next group gets mad and then they, they send all of their people in and then it just, it's always an imbalance fighting. So whatever it was, that's not us. And so a lot of us are getting caught up with the Patriot movement, the white hat stuff, the Nasera, the digital currency back then gold shit, but that's still not us. That's not us. Yeah. So, uh, in my say Chief Malik Bay. Chief Malik Angel Bay, Angel Bay, the Chicago Red Bull, Larry the Chicago Blue Bull, and I'm the gorilla that's bringing the bulls home. So, Big Tukey is the West Coast Bull, the crooked man walking. I done already post the indigenous tribes in the, the Dawes Road. The Dawes Road still doing the crooked man. 
because they couldn't stop doing it. If we ever wanted to get back on top, when them dogs rose, decided that these motherfuckers wrote trees with them and wasn't going to keep them, they sided with us. So they had to keep the dancers going on the land. Even though they didn't have the blood right, they was able to keep the rituals in place. And then later on, they was able to twig in through marriage. Right? So they mixed. They from the land and they from the land across the water. They came over here as the workers on the ship, the what they call ship hands, deck hands. Mm -hmm. And the deckhands was the indentures when they hit land. And the indentures was the ones that they signed Dawes Roll contracts with. Now, watch how they played us because it's real subtle. You won't see it if you're not paying attention to their operations. They took the elders out of our community because they wasn't allowed to kill them and put them among strangers in the Dawes Roll so that they can tie back the bloodlines of the indigenous people to the Dawes Roll. In other words, they kidnap your grandmama and they put her in a household full of kids that ain't hers and tell her to raise them. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, they miss it. They miss it. Educate them through an educational system on purpose. But Big Mama mm -hmm. telling them the truth a day self who they is, how they got over here and they don't know how she know this shit. Because she can't read. So she didn't get it out of a book. But she's telling these motherfuckers where they came from. How they got here. And when they realize these is them ones. We don't want no parts of the motherfuckers that brought us over here. Because they got the fake shit. Big mama right here got the real shit telling us the real. The largest repository of voodoo knowledge right now is in the hands of a so-called Jewish woman in California. And she takes students. And she got a voodoo textbook she wrote herself based off the ritual she got from Big Mama that taught her. First hand. She don't look nothing like us. But she kept the, she kept that shit alive for us. Madam Blavatsky gave us the theosophy to let us know there ain't no religion higher than the truth, motherfucker. Right? Rudolf Steiner gave us anthroposophy. Right? Anthroposophy is the philosophy of anthropology, which is the study of ancient history. And it's of the sophist order. That's why you got anthro, Sophia. It's the ancient history of Sophia. That's Isis unveiled. Tied it right back into Blavatsky. Israel Regardi wrote the middle pillar. The middle pillar is about waking your kundalini. Straight up the middle. Bump straight, motherfucker. Because when you get to turning all crooked and shit, the motherfucking kundalini don't want to rise. Bump straight. That's it. Right? Manly P. Hall. Master of Masters. Kept the records, kept them clean, and then put the information in the public domain. He only nothing like us. Alistair Crowley, they called him the wickedest man that ever lived. But if you study Thelema and you know who Iwas is, you're going to take another look at him. Franz Bardon don't look nothing like us, but had all thought secrets in his motherfucking collection of works. What the fuck is he doing with Thoth information if these motherfuckers is the devil and Thoth is the one that's got to get us out of this motherfucking connection? They got it and they mm, a thing called copyright. <clears throat> want to make some money off our shit. The, the, here go the problem. One of us get a little bit of knowledge and our egos make us want to be better than our brothers and sisters. Oh, I know more than you. You idiot. But they keep thinking us country boys is dumb because we don't have no alphabets behind our name. Whatever Big Mama say do, it's going to get done. We're going to figure out how to do it. We're going to nigger rig the fence to make sure the horses don't get out. Right? We're going to jimmy rig the lights to make sure that when the motherfucking power go down, we still got power. 
We're going to dig trenches and moats to make sure that the motherfucking predators can't get to Big Mama House. Some of us are. <laughs> I'm talking about her real boys. I'm just saying some, you know, but not all. Yeah. Well, the ones that's her real, Maybe her real baby's going to do the work. They don't got no problem doing no work. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. The real going to show. Mm -hmm. This shit is all about the real going to show. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't be hiding. I don't give a fuck. Bring them. They can, you can, look. If a motherfucker bumps straight, they ain't gonna have no problem out of me. As long as they stay crooked, then they gonna start having a problem. Cause I'm gonna start saying something to their ass, and they don't like it the way I say shit to their ass. Right? So <clears throat> when motherfuckers uh threatening me with voodoo spells, right? How you gonna put a spell, a conjure on the king of the conjure? Make this make sense. The motherfucker that's got all of the magical keys. Uh, they haven't been paying attention because we done been through this. We done had like so many rounds of motherfuckers with doing black magic, candle. Mirror. They've been doing it and then they work and they still trying it. So it's funny now. Mm -hmm. It's amusing. Hey, look, I got a motherfucker. I got a clerk at the gate that can say, always say, return to sender. That shit don't belong here. So when the clerk say it don't belong here, it ain't getting in. Mama say it don't belong here, it ain't getting in. Big Mama say kill it is dead. You know, so. I did them devil's food cakes. Mm -hmm. 